you know, in, in Trinidad, to this day, a big part of being a man was the ability or is the ability to drink. Right. So you yeah, ought to be able to drink some serious alcohol <laughs> to, to be a tree. <laughs> right? And, and that doesn't translate to women, although right. I, know, I know some women that could drink men under the table. Right. But the, the idea is that you know, a Trini man, you ought to be able to hold your liquor. Yeah. Right? So that, that was a big kind of story about manhood. The idea of being the, the, having several women and you know, it, it was not unco uncommon that right. our fathers had kids that we find out we have a half brother here and a half brother there. So the whole idea of setting good role models for, for, for their sons right. was already off the rails for decades already. Yeah. And, but, the, but the really interesting thing for me is when I lived in the States, I met a woman who was from uh, Louisiana and she told a story about how her parents saved money for their son, her elder brother, to go to college. Right. But when it came time for him to go to college, he said he didn't want to go again. So she asked her parents if she could go. The parents laughed and said that's a nice idea. You know what they did with money? They bought a car for the son, a Trans Am. They, they bought a car with, her, with the college because it's not her role right. to go to college. Right. They thought that was a cute idea, but then they immediately ignore her. Right. Meanwhile, growing up in Trinidad, all my friends knew if there was anything you wanted done, if there was any decision that was important to you, you didn't go to your father, brother. You went um, to your mother. Of course. <laughs> if you 